Dr. Bill Sears, and welcome to Juice Plus Live TV. Now, many of you know myself and uh, my wife, Martha, from our books on parenting and family health. But my main credential is I have eight children and 15 grandchildren. Wow. And what I want to do today is give you the top health tips that I have learned in 50 years as a pediatrician. 50 years. Now, after 50 years of being around children and having a lot of children, you begin to talk like a child, write like a child, my wife says, act like a child. So today you get the fun version, the fun version of the top health tips that I've learned at 50 years as a doctor. Now, first, let's imagine <clears throat> that you are what we, call, we doctors call a high investor. You want to take charge of your health. You want to live longer, happier, and healthier. You want to take fewer pills and more skills, more self-help skills. So you go on online and you find the top doc in your area for preventive medicine. And you go into her office and you say, Doctor, I am here to get the top, most scientifically researched medicine to help me live longer, happier, and healthier. Ah, top doc says, well, I congratulate you for taking such good care of your health. So I have the perfect medicine for you. And she gets out her prescription pad and she writes down, and you're going to be surprised. Eat more fruits, veggies, and seafood and go outside and play. You look at that and say, that's what my mother said. Why was Dr. Mom right of eat more fruits, veggies, and seafood, and go outside and play? So to, to understand that, let's go to the first health tip. Eat smart. And let me take you into the brain now. Because brain illnesses are now the number one illness in the world. Even more so than heart disease. The brain is now sicker than the heart. But the good news is the brain is most affected for better or worse, by what you eat. You put smart food into your brain, you get smart health. So what is this first smart food? Well, first of all, it's fat. Your brain is mostly fat. A way to remember this is we are all fatheads. You're a fathead, I'm a fathead. Your children are fatheads. The brain is mostly fat. Now, what is it about fat that decays? turns rancid, we call it. Ever had a piece of uh, fresh fish and you left, it all, you left it all overnight? You smelled it in the morning and it stinks. Or it turns rancid. The medical term for that is it oxidizes. Therefore, to keep the fat in the brain from oxidizing or getting wear and tear, you need to eat more antioxidants. And what are the best sources of antioxidants? Fruits, veggies, and seafood. Oh, that was smart. So then you say, okay, Dr. Bell, I'll eat more fruits, veggies, and seafood. How much do I need to eat for the health I want? Well, fruits and veggies. Ten fistfuls a day. Hold up your fist. So if it's a big guy fist, big fistful, the baby fist, ten little fistfuls. Ten fistfuls of fruits and veggies per day of fruits, veggies, and berries combined. Boy, that's a lot, but you need it. And you need to eat two fistfuls of wild salmon per week for enough omegas. And you say, guys, Dr. Bill, I know I need it, but I can't eat that much. It's all the logic. Now, I sometimes have trouble eating that much. Even though I have a big juice plus shake in, this morning, in the morning of five to six fruits and veggies and a big green salad in the evening and two or three evenings a week, I have a filet of salmon on top. But even I have trouble eating that much. Therefore, I need to take it. Smart supplements. So, I need it, but I don't eat it. Therefore, I must take it. That is supplement choosing logic. So let me go into now how to choose any smart supplement to work you through. 
And I'm going to choose Juice Plus because of several reasons. One, it's the only one I take. It's the number one supplement our family takes. It's the number one supplement that our family of doctors take and our medical practice prescribes. It's supported by so much science. So what you learn about Juice Plus now can apply to any supplement. But first of all, do I need it? Yes, you do. You don't eat 10 fistfuls of fruits and vegetables per week, uh, per day, or two fistfuls of wild salmon per, per week. So you need it. But you don't eat it. Therefore, you must take it. Okay, point number one. Secondly, okay, I will take it because I need it. But show me the science, Dr. Bill. And we do. There is more science behind omega fats for the brain because the, the omegas that are in the omega blend, the Juice Plus Omega blend, are happen to be the top fats in the brain. But then you say, well, I don't like, uh, I don't like seafood or I'm a vegan. Well, the omega blend of seafood in, in the omega blend is from a seafood source, algae, an algae source. It's where the fish eat there. So you eat the, uh, take omega blend every day and the trio every day. We call it the quad. And the science behind this 38 university studies showing that nearly every organ of the body is healthier the more fruits and veggies and juice plus you take. Wow. That's exciting. And then the question might be, well, how early do I start? The earlier the better. We start in our office. At six months, I have the fathead talk. Your brain is mostly fat, and your baby's brain is mostly fat. You're growing a little fathead, mom and dad. Therefore, start avocados at six months, and salmon at seven months. And then around eight months, I have what we call the sprinkles test. I open a little Juice Plus veggie capsule. It looks green, because it is greens. Tastes green, because it's full of greens. I put it on the baby's tongue. Mmm. I have mom do that two or three times a day. I have... Lots of patients in my practice start Juice Plus early, in toddlerhood even. And I will have them come back and say, you know, Dr. Bill, once I started giving our family more Juice Plus, that's why you don't see them so often. They're healthier. And you know what? They also will eat more fruits and veggies. Hmm, that's interesting. And the Juice Plus family health study. This study has been going on over 20 years and over a hundred, one Point five, a million and a half children are enrolled and what they find that those kids who eat more Juice Plus have fewer school absences from illness and wind up loving to eat more fruits and veggies. So why does that happen? And we call it programming the mind, programming the crave center. So here's what happens. You put the Juice Plus veggie on the tongue. The sooner the better, even in toddlerhood. And the tongue says like, and the tongue sends a, bio, sends a biochemical text message to the craze center of the brain. Remember, the brain loves veggies, antioxidants, and the brain says like gets better. The, the head brain then sends a biochemical message down the vagus nerve, the superhighway of the body, the super nerve highway in the middle of the body, to the second brain called the gut brain. Now, the biggest term in medicine you're going to hear a lot about right now is the microbiome. Microbiome simply means the community of gut bacteria that live in the lining of your intestines and re in return for free food and a warm place to live. They do good things for your body, good for gut health, good for brain health. They make lots of natural medicines. So what is their favorite food? Veggies. So the head brain says to the gut brain, hey, gut brain, down comes your favorite food. You registered like. So the gut brain sends a text message back to head brain, hey, head brain, we like down here. So like, like, like. Can you imagine that going on three or four times a day for a couple years? After that time, like, 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 it, it registers and imprints 
in the crave center of your brain and in the gut to like veggies. That's why the earlier you can program your family and yourself to crave, not only like, you may start, I don't like, but must eat or should eat, to like a little, to like a lot, to crave. And I've seen this happen so often in our medical practice, to crave fruits and veggies. Now, tip number two, move smart. So eat smart to move smart. Our doctor mom said, go outside and play. And what you're about to hear won the Nobel Prize. So I want to take you into what we call a medical truism of your body. And that is every organ of your body is only as healthy as the blood vessels supplying it. So the healthier blood vessels, the healthier every organ. And how do you make your blood vessels healthier? Fruits, veggies, and omegas. And movement. And here's why. So notice in the illustration here, notice a tale of two vessels. The vessel on the bottom, let's call her Mandy the Mover. Mandy did everything her mom said. Eat more fruits and veggies, take smart supplements like Juice Plus, and move more. And you'll notice her vessel is wide open. The blood is flowing faster. And you notice at the bottom, those little medicine bottles, that's what won the Nobel Prize, that the lining of your blood vessels, we call it the silver lining, called the endothelium, has trillions of these little microscopic squirt bottles, literally squirt bottles, that squirt medicines up into your bloodstream, medicines that lower the highs, high blood pressure, high blood cholesterol, high blood sugar, medicines that mellow your moods, antidepressants. Medicines that heal your hurts, anti-inflammatories. But the medicines you make inside your blood vessels are better than what you take because they're custom made just for you. And you notice there's no sticky stuff on top of the medicine bottles. Sticky stuff is a pediatrician's term for inflammatory markers. That's all the stuff that uh, gets in the blood that gums up all the works that shouldn't be there. That's what your doctor measures in your annual blood test. Now notice the top vessel, Sam the sitter, we call it. Sam, Sam suffers from the sitting disease. He sits too much and he puts too much sticky stuff in his mouth. And we say Sam eats out of the box. So Sam is likely to wind up sooner in a box, sorry to say. So notice you put sticky stuff in your mouth and you get sticky stuff on top of your medicine bottles. And your pharmacy is closed your blood vessels are more narrow, your blood flow is slower. Ah, that's not what you want. That is not health. The healthy blood vessels you want, and this is what the science of Juice Plus shows. Those who eat more fruits and veggies, and those who eat more fruits and veggies in the Juice Plus supplements, they, have, they relax their blood vessels more. So the blood flows better. Wow, isn't that what we want? Better blood flow, because better blood flow gives you better health by keeping the sticky stuff off. I, had, I gave this talk to a first grade class one time and a mother came home and told me the story. She said, that night my, my husband took all the kids, piled them in a van and took them out to a burger joint. Let's call it uh, Sticky's Burgers. And as they came into Sticky's Burgers, the six-year-old, scolded her daddy. Daddy, we can't put sticky stuff in our mouth because we'll get sticky stuff in our blood vessels and our medicine bottles won't open. Wow, can you imagine what that dad thought? So keep the sticky stuff out of your mouth, eat more fruits and veggies and take smart supplements and grow your blood vessels. And have fun walking in the morning with a group of friends. Just the movement, and that's what one of the, again, the Nobel Prize, movement opens your arteries wider and gets the blood flowing faster because it opens the medicine bottles. And you can just say to your friends, oh, it feels so good to be opening my own pharmacy inside. I'm making my own medicines. I'm fertilizing my brain. Well, these fertilizers it does in the brain is called VEG, vascular endothelial growth factor fertilizer for your brain garden. So move more, stay smarter. 
And the final tip I want to give you is meditate more, agitate less. So here's how I start every morning. I call it movement meditation. And choose a mantra. A mantra is simply a, a, a phrase or a little poem that has meaning to you, personal meaning. But the movement you try to synchronize with your mantra. We teach this to our kids beginning at age seven, to mellow your moods. It's the way you should start every day and end every day with the attitude of gratitude. No matter how life sucks, and it does sometimes, we all have a few things to be thankful for. So here's a sample attitude of gratitude that I do every day. And I wish you would also develop your personal peace recipe to do. Follow me closely. Now, I do this in a swimming pool or walking. Thank you for my health, cancer survivor. Thank you for my wealth, eight kids. Thank you for my MD. Please make it my ministry. Ah, what a wonderful way to start the day. Now, from our Juice Plus family to your family, we wish you the gift of great health. And remember, it's fun to be healthy.